Happy Monday, everybody. We are super, super excited. One, because we have not had a Monday night meeting in quite a while. There's been trips like, you know, the Maui trip, and um, then there was some unlikely illness that was going on, and then we had our anniversary trip and um, have had lots of fun, but we are super excited. I am super excited to learn tonight. I, I know that I've prepped you well on the team page that you should be ready to take lots of notes, that we're going to record this, you're going to get to go back and listen. But um, about six or eight weeks ago, some, somewhere somebody sent me one of Tara's videos and said, have you seen this girl? She does such a great videos. And I watched it and I was blown away and I immediately reached out to her and said, I would love, love, love if you would come talk to our team. And so she has graciously done that. Tara Truax is here with us tonight. We are going to give her the floor in just a second because we want to give her all 45 minutes that she's giving us. We're so grateful. She had a baby, y'all, two weeks ago, girl? Uh, she's four weeks tomorrow. Four weeks, four weeks ago. Still, hello. Four weeks old, baby. She's absolutely precious. She and her husband and her three kids, she's going to tell us her story. And then I know you guys have been sending in lots and lots of questions, excited to hear from her. And she is going to really highlight some bullet points of some things that you've asked. And then she has a plethora, y'all, of videos to go back and watch and really glean and learn from her. So I'm super excited. Without further ado, thank you, Tara. We'll turn it over to you. Hi, guys. I'm super excited. Um, thank you so much for having me on tonight. Um, I know we had to delay a little bit and stuff because the first time she asked me um, to come on, I was literally about to give birth. I was like, we need to wait a minute. So um, I'm super excited. So a little bit about me. I'm a master certified health coach and I'm actually a master certified health coach because of my plexus journey, which is a little bit unique. Some people were health coaches first. I know a lot of people go through training after, um, but mine was very specific because of my journey of what I went through with my son. So when I started plexus in um, 2015, in September 2015, I was um, 10 months postpartum with my second child. I had severe postpartum depression, bad, bad adrenal fatigue, and anxiety. Like my anxiety was like through the roof, and nothing would help me. Nothing. I had like literally tried everything. So, um, one of my friends um, was um, uh, pregnant. She was uh, 22 weeks pregnant, and she was taking the products. And I said oh, okay, my background was as a birth doula, so I was really into birth and, and natural stuff, and I'm like, if she could take this, and everything else I've taken, or wanted to take, I couldn't take, maybe I can try this, because I was breastfeeding. And I had amazing results. Within two weeks, I didn't need naps anymore. My adrenal fatigue was gone. Within six weeks, my anxiety and depression was gone. Baby weight started coming off. I was able to breastfeed my second son until he was two years old. My first son, my milk dried up at 14 months. So that was a huge deal for me. Um, and um, I, I'm, it was just, it was, became so life changing. And so as all these things started happening, I started really researching. So I am a very red green personality. So I am very impulsive. And then once I make that choice, then I go back and I'm like, well, did I really make a good choice? And I start to research. So I really dove in. And when I say dove in guys, like hours and hours, I would stay up till two, three in the morning reading studies and like the real deep studies. Um, and like, tell, like my husband would leave me notes. He's like, Oh my God, I can't believe like what is going on here. And I, I mean the first part of, um, when I first started, I probably spent about 40 hours researching our ingredients because if I was going to say anything to any person on this planet about these products, I knew I had to know everything about them because of my background. So I had been a personal trainer for 10 years prior to that. I was a professional dancer all the way up until my first son was born. So I'd always worked, um, I was very, very familiar with Pilates yoga, personal training. I was always, I had a movement therapy business um, when I lived in Southern California. Everything was health-based. And, um, and I did terrible things to my body. As a professional dancer, I did horrible things. I, if I had to wear a certain costume on stage, I would talk about the, the you don't even want to know the things I would do to like, to, to drop weight like that. So I had done it. I knew about them. I've, I've seen it. I've, I've, as a personal trainer, the stuff, the loading stuff we used to put in our bodies, it was awful. Um, but, um, so over time, um, I had, you know, kind of been there, done that. So, um, I kind of just lost track of what I was saying, but, um, 
So once I started really diving in and researching, I was just so blown away. And at the time I was having a really big issue with my son who at the time was, we, he started when he was four, but uh, yeah, he was four. And we were going to integrated medical doctors. They wanted to label him ADHD and um, they wanted to put him on medication and he had severe anxiety. And I just refused. I refused to put him on medication. This was like such a smart boy. He, he I too worked in the entertainment industry. He could run lines and do commercials and all this stuff. And I knew that wasn't the answer. So after doing all that research, because of course I would take something before I give it to my kid. After I did that research, I started giving the products to my son. And I am not even joking between just making real food changes and really eliminating toxins from our life and the products to support we have our kid back. And that to us was so huge that I then went back to school to become a health coach because I wanted to teach more people about this. This is a really big deal. Not only did I have products that supported the, the real stuff, like the science, but um, I want to help all the other people who are sitting there pulling their hair out like I was and didn't, didn't know what to do. So I became a certified health coach in families, pregnancy and breastfeeding, and in seniors got really, really passionate about, about helping people. I went back to school again this last year and got my master's certification um, so I could become internationally certified. So, um, so as I'm going through all the schooling, again, I'm diving in more and more. So I probably put in another 40 hours on top of what I'd already put on, diving in more and more into the products, listening to calls, listening to people way outside Plexus on their perspective and how it can apply. And you guys, I can't even tell you what that does to belief. If you ever have any, any question about belief in our products, start listening. Great people to follow. If you don't follow Dr. Perlmutter, follow Dr. Perlmutter. You guys, his YouTube videos are so amazing. Dr. Amy Myers, um, they're fantastic on hormones and, um, and female, she, she used to be a gynecologist, but she's now an integrated medical doctor. Um, they, there's so much, so many doctors and so much research that goes back to what we have. It builds so much belief and that will help your passion and that will help you if you don't know what to say, right? Um, so anyway, so that's where I, where I went got to where I am now. Um, this last year I had my third baby, um, because of Plexus, I had a really hard time having my second child. And because of Plexus, we got pregnant right away. I had the best pregnancy ever. I had horrible pregnancies my first two. And I mean, I'm not even joking, best pregnancy ever. Like it was incredible. And my baby is incredible. And it like, it's like a dream compared to what I, what I went through with the first two, with my first two. So um, absolutely amazing. And um, like, I just can't even say enough. Um, my, my midwives, every, everybody is just like, I mean, my midwife right after I delivered, she was sitting on my bed rubbing my ankle. She's just like, you're not even swollen. I'm like, no, not at all. Not at all. Like, great. <laughs> She's like, wow. Um, so you guys, our products, they really are amazing. And you guys sent some really good questions. Now, some were very specific. I did send some things um, back to Jennifer, like, hey, if it's very one-on-one, -on -one, I'm really happy to do like a three-way chat or a one-on-one -on -one problem solving with you. I'm more than happy. Just let her know and I'm just message me. Um, let her know first so she can say, hey, heads up, someone from my team's gonna message you. Otherwise, I might not know. <laughs> um, it's, it's from you and might you know pass it off to somebody else's upline. Um, so let her know and I'm happy to do that for you guys. And then. Um, the other thing is if it's like um, super, like some of the questions we got, I've actually made videos on it. So I shot those back to her to share with you guys, especially the, the nerve ease video. It breaks down ease and nerve really, really well in there. I am going to break down one of the questions about ease and, and iodine. I'll go into that today because um, that's not on that video. Um, and so I guess I can start with that real quick. So here's the thing with um, ease. Hang on, where's my notes? So here's the thing with the ease and iodine. So um, the green shell mussels are a super high protein, um, are, are super high in protein. And they literally, one, one serving of green, those, those mussels is five mussels, okay? Those are five whole mussels, both sides. And that would provide 280 milligrams of omega-3. 
omega-3 is EPA and DHA. And that omega-3 is highly absorbable and the most anti-inflammatory omega-3 more than fish oil, more than any other omega-3. It's really, really fantastic. The thing is that five, they're like big guys, okay? That is not, <laughs> five of those is not in an ease capsule. So um, the, the green mussels also are a super good source of, of selenium, iron, which it's the hemi iron, which is the super bioavailable kind that you actually want. Um, iron supplements are not absorbed and used by the body. That's why we need to get our iron from food sources. Um, most of it's just constipating where we poop them out. So you really want to get it from food sources. So that, um, the green lipid, uh, green muscle lipid is a really good source of iron. Um, and it's also a really good source of B12 and iodine. The problem is you have a serving, which is five, and then that's all they can measure and then you have it all cooked and broken down and and into these capsules so how much iodine is in there we don't know and it's not on the label and because our proprietary blend is then mixed with turmeric serapeptase and bromelain which are the two enzymes in there it's really like they're not giving us how much actually of the green muscle lipid is in there. So really to say how much iodine, it's gonna be so minimal when you take into what's in one capsule. Now, I guess if you're taking a super loading dose, like three, three times a day, um, you would be getting more obviously than if you were just taking three once a day or, or two once a day. But um, if you do have an iodine sensitivity, I know somebody mentioned that and you're not feeling good on something, you guys, it doesn't matter if it's iodine or if it's anything else. If you're not feeling good on something, either we need to adjust when you're taking it because sometimes that's part of it. Um, or you may not, this, this may not be a good match for you and that's okay too. Okay, so there's not a one size fits all to our supplements, but what is amazing is our supplements are super adaptable. So that's where I want to go into BioCleanse, okay? Somebody talked about magnesium. Here's the thing with magnesium, guys. The recommended daily allowance, okay? So a recommended daily allowance is the absolute minimum you need, not the maximum. And people get super confused by this, and I hear it all the time. Why does X Factor have way more than the, the, the amount allotted? because that's the minimum. And the minimum, guys, is really like the ba the bottom. 75% of Americans do not get enough magnesium in their diet a day, okay? They are so far from getting the recommended daily allowance. And hang on, where's my notes? I wrote the recommended daily allowance, and I now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. So the, the recommended daily allowance for a male between 19 and 51 years of age is 400 to 420 milligrams a day. And for a female is 310 to 320 milligrams a day. So in range, that's about one dose of BioCleanse, okay? That's that recommended daily allowance minimum. Now you take into account anybody that's magnesium deficient. And when you take into like what includes magnesium deficiency, we are talking about migraines, chronic fatigue, restless leg syndrome, um, uh, insomnia, anxiety, depression, ADHD, preeclampsia, type two diabetes, fibromyalgia, Alzheimer's, all of these are part included in magnesium deficiency. And if you take medication, chances are it's going to, you're going to be magnesium deficient because most medications will, you will become magnesium deficient on, and some are worse than others. So you take all those into account, then you take into account how you're eating, you take into account um, environmental factors, and most of us are just by nature um, magnesium deficient. So most of us do need that normal for BioCleanse. Now some people may need more, and that is okay. If you are chronically constipated, yeah, you may need more. That is okay. You will not overdose by taking six. That is not, you're not going to have, no, you, uh, people, some, you, your body may need it. Some people may need less. Some people may do better on two. If you take your bio cleanse as recommended between meals and you feel chronically bloated when you do that, move your bio cleanse to take it at bedtime with your ProBio 5. Now, if you don't and you're good, I recommend keeping it there because the magnesium with the ProBio 5 can make the effectiveness of the Espilardi in the ProBio 5 not as effective, okay? But 
you're not going to be bloated anymore. So it's going to be like that same thing that I said. You want to adjust your products. Not taking them is not good. Adjusting them and making it work for you is good. So you can't really hurt yourself. The only thing I don't recommend ever is please don't take your BioCleanse with X Factor or X Factor Plus. Magnesium does block the absorption of both iron and folate. Okay, so don't take them together. Space those apart. Um, so that's the magnesium question. I think I covered that one. Where's my restaurant? Their questions. Um, and kids. Okay, so we talked about my son. So babies and kids, it's, it's a touchy subject here, okay? Um, first of all, there is a Facebook group for um, parents that give their kids Plexus products. So you can always search that too. Um, you can always check with their pediatrician depending on how open they are. Now our pediatrician is amazing. I can talk to him about lots of things based on what my pediatrician has told me, ProBio 5 would be fine for any child from um, two months, so eight weeks old and up, okay, one. Um, beginning there. Now, again, it depends on what they're dealing with. So like me personally, I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old. My six-year-old takes two ProBio 5 a day and my three-year-old takes two ProBio 5 a day. The reason they do is my, my six-year-old needs it. Um, he, he has chronic yeast issues. My two-year-old or my now three-year-old will not be able to go to the bathroom if I don't pair one BioCleanse and one ProBio 5 together. And this was a series of figuring out if he if we just gave him ProBio 5, if we just gave him BioCleanse, if, would he go to the bathroom? And he wouldn't. We had to put them together. So again, again, it's going to be trial and error with kids and with their bodies, okay? Remember, chronic constipation in kids usually is dairy-related. Usually dairy-related. Dairy-related is, I don't, I don't know how to say it anymore, but dairy is really, really hard on little kids' systems, and that's usually what it's connected to. And it can be really hard to pull it from their diets, but um, to limit it is really good. If you need some good resources um, for, to help people, keep in mind you need to be nutritionally, um, like milk products need to be nutritionally sound. So almond milk and coconut milk and cashew milk, and those are not nutritionally sound replacements for milk. Okay. They don't have protein. They don't have omegas. If you look at them, they're high in sugar. They don't have a whole lot in them. For an adult like us, it would be okay. But, um, cause we're not trying to replace that whole milk. Um, but they need that calcium. They need that protein. They need those omegas. So what I usually suggest is either hemp milk or ripple milk, which is made from pea protein. Both are high in omegas and have the calcium and they have the protein. So, um, those are options to give people. And both of those can be uh, found at Sprouts or um, Target. Um, Target actually carries um, Ripple Milk. So those are good options. Um, other dosing for kids, um, again, it's going to be trial and error. Some kid, p parents are not okay giving their kids slim. I am. My kids um, take my one that's six with the ADHD issues. He can drink one whole one. My younger one drinks a half. Um, we started on half for both of them. And as the older one got older, we increased to the one. He will specifically ask for it. He knows it makes him feel better. So that's something to think of. Some other things to think of, um, you know, that X Factor Chewable, you may or may not have noticed the new packaging is a different label on the dosage than the old packaging. That was actually a product error on the old one. So they reevaluated it and put the correct dosage on the new packaging. So that is two chewables for any child four years and older, four to 18. It used to say one up to 17. So it's two chewables. So um, uh, you can do the chewable or you can open one of the old X factors, um, you know, in a yogurt or something like that. When you open the ProBio 5, if you open that, if you share that with your children, I don't recommend using things acidic like applesauce. Um, it will start breaking down, uh, the acidic will start breaking down the quality of it. So um, it's better if it is yogurt. Some people like to mix it in peanut butter, um, a spoon. Some people just like to dump it in one little spoon. Um, what I also have been told by a lot of people is BioCleanse has no taste. If you actually open the capsule in the mouth, I have like three or four kids on our team that they don't even care. It doesn't taste like anything. Um, so that's some 
kids are, that's an option, but kids, just so you know, that have ADHD, autism, um, sensory disorders, they have very sensitive microbiomes and they also are very sensitive to texture and very sensitive to foods. So finding ways to get that in them can be difficult and it can be quite challenging. So some of my moms have been very creative in finding ways to get it and, you know, get it in their bodies. So, um, okay. So kids, then let's see. Um, How to introduce the products for general health. Okay, so I always, I never just, someone comes to me, I never just assume this is what you're going to start with. I always ask them right away what medications they're on and what health issues they're, they're dealing with. I really try to connect with them and I really try to find out what's really going on. Now, if there is nothing and they're just 100% fine, then I will usually recommend the triplex and X factor plus or X factor just depends, but, um, usually X factor plus. And, um, why? Because I don't think that anybody should start the triplex without X factor. You need that good nutrient absorption, the aloe to reduce the inflammation in the gut. So the body body can start absorbing nutrients and it will really, really, <coughs> excuse me, help die off. So the difference is if somebody is very, very healthy and you ask them and make sure you ask them how often they go to the bathroom and they're very, very regular, it is okay to introduce, um, I always do slim for three days at least first and see how their body adjusts. Some people are very, very sensitive to the prebiotics. I was one, when I started those prebiotics, oh my God, my belly hurt. That is super normal, you guys. It is super normal. It doesn't happen to everybody, but some people that are sensitive, they really are. So day three, my belly was fine again. But I also knew that adding those prebiotics in was going to happen. Some people just don't understand that. So it's very important. Um, if you haven't seen my slim die off video, I always share that with people right away. So they understand if this is too much, go back to half a slim. There is no rush to get better. You didn't get to where you were overnight. You're not going to get to where you're going overnight. So let's go slow and let's make you happy instead of freaking you out and putting way too much on and you running for the hills and that's it, right? So really, really, really go slow with people. Once you get to them, they're good on that full dose of slim, you can introduce, I usually then go BioCleanse first, ProBio5 after. If they're going to the bathroom really well and they're good, you can introduce one BioCleanse twice a day and one ProBio5 at night. If they're not going to the bathroom good, do not introduce ProBio5. Do not introduce it until they're going to the bathroom because we don't want to cause a problem, okay? Once that die-off starts, it could make it worse. And the other thing that we want to make sure is that they're not that very small percent of the population that BioCleanse constipates, which is a very small percent, but we probably have all come across them on our teams where for some reason that magnesium has a reverse effect. If it has that reverse effect, then we actually want to pair it with the ProBio5 because then it will help. So they're one of those also special cases that we'll pair it with. So again, Really listen to your people, see what's going on with them. And then again, I always start them with X Factor right away. I have them actually start slim and X Factor right away together. Um, the Somebody asked me about X Factor Plus and hair loss. So I want you guys to think about it's the same as when like right after you have a baby or when you get pregnant and your hair falls out, it's going to be the same when your hormones start to level. And the poly polyphenols in X Factor Plus are clinically studied levels to help balance and level hormones. So you have to think about if someone's hormones are off and if their thyroid hormones are off, if their cortisol hormone levels are off, if a lot of different hormone levels are off in their body and they start to level out, that can also cause hair loss. It's not going to be like, they shouldn't be losing handfuls of hair, okay? Um, that would be a sign that there's something else going on. But if there, there's a lot going on, that's very, very, that's very normal and it should level out, okay? <coughs> now, the other thing to keep in mind is that's also a sign of dehydration. When people have not been getting enough water, hair loss 
can happen. So I always check because sometimes, especially if you've been on your products for a long time, we start to get lazy and we think, oh, but I've been carrying this around all day, but maybe I only filled it up four times and on, I had been filling it up eight or whatever. Um, and we may not have enough water as we think we do. The other thing to think about too is that, um, uh, I just lost my train of thought again, what I was talking about hormones. Um, no, I lost that one. So um, if someone has a question and I skipped it, you can go back. I'll, I'll, I'll check the notes in a second. Actually, there's a bunch of notes I'll check right now. Um, let's see. Oh, the two YouTube doctors, there's actually a lot, but I suggest following Dr. Perlmutter. He's the author of The Brain Maker and um, Dr. Amy Myers. Um, she's actually an OBGYN and actually there's a really, really one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Um, it's on Dr. Perlmutter. He's called the empowering neurologist. That's what his YouTube account is called. Um, but his, um, he has a really good interview with Amy Myers and it, it's so good. Um, but, um, you'll hear her talk. Um, oh, it's so good. Um, oh, there's another doctor. I'll look up her name. I'll, I'll let you know. And I'll share that. I'll share that with you, Jennifer, because there's another doctor that I absolutely love. And now for some reason, I can't forget her name, but I have her video saved. So I'll, I'll share that with you. Um, I, I do have a question while you're looking and thinking about uh -huh. just, um, and, and along, along the lines of what's normal for hair loss or what's normal for the detox. And maybe you answer this more specifically. I'm sure you do in your die off videos. What is, what is, what becomes normal versus not normal? Because I think so long when you're invested in this three weeks, a month, two months, we're, we're committed as ambassadors, but with a customer, you know, they're thinking three days, like you said, with the slim or whatever, um, a couple of weeks, but certainly after that first month and it's time for that next order to come through. So what do you say to your customers to keep them locked in? I love, I mean, I love your videos, all the stuff that you do about the accountability because it does come down to you are the, these are not magic. The magic is you. And unless you instigate and activate that, ma that magic within you to do the right thing, you're not going to get well. But in terms of how long people should really stick it out and how many times we should change things around before mm, it's just not, maybe it isn't just right for them. No, I fully believe everything is right for everybody at some level, but in order to convey and, co and to share that with customers. Yes, I actually totally agree with you. I feel the same way. Like everything's right for some customers. And lately, I don't know if it's just having a baby or what, but I feel like my patience has been a lot less because I find myself saying to a lot of my ambassadors, oh, she's just being a wuss. Like, come on, get over it. <laughs> so if you haven't seen my, you're not, the, you're the rule, you're not the exception video. That's really, and, and when I made that video, I was at my last with like, are you serious people? Like you're not, you, you really, it's science. So if you literally Google the Herxheimer reaction, most people don't nearly have those bad of symptoms. Don't nearly. Now I had pretty bad die off. And the weirdest part is I had actually done a candida cleanse right before I started Plexus products. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll be oh my God. I was so not fine. And plus I'd been on a really expensive probiotic. I thought this was going to be, no, it was so bad. It was so bad. I mean, I literally had everything and it was everything from, it was literally everything I'd ever experienced in my life, like resurfacing everything from like, you know, night hot, sweat, hot flashes from when I had my kids to, um, random nausea to, you know, um, to skin breakouts, to achy joints, and it would come and go. And that's how I always knew it was die off because it was this random thing. I was like, I smell funny. Like, why do I smell funny? It was always this thing that was not me, but I knew that and it would make me excited because every time that happened to me, I would lose more weight. I would get back on the scale. I'd lose more weight or I'd lose more inches. And so I was excited about that. I know a lot of people don't get excited about it, but I also tell people if I could do it at the time I was running a dance studio full time as artistic director, I was working crazy hours and my husband was gone. And if I could go through all that and do all that 
and still figure out how to heal, like you, you can do it too. There's people with 11 kids that feel that figure out how they can heal. Like you can, you can do it if you want to do it. Like if you don't want to go back to what you had, and you have to remember, I always remind people, like, if you came to me with this laundry list of issues and you don't want to push through, I remind people, well, was what you had so much better? Because if you push through, it is going to get better. When is really, I don't know. Like, we don't know. Some people, it takes us so much longer and some people don't. For me, I w had really great results. You know, I had that two week, six week. Um, I lost a bunch of inches my first two months, but month three, month four, and month five, nothing happened. I didn't see anything change. Month six, I lost 19 more inches and I can't even remember how many more pounds. Like it was a drastic change, wow. which goes to tell you our bodies are healing and we just don't know it. And based on like how detox and how cell regeneration works, cell regeneration begins not ends, begins at 90 days. So I always tell people from the get-go, guys, if you don't make it to that beginning 90-day spot, you're not even going to see how far you can get. And you didn't even get to where you are in 90 days. And I always tell people, give it that 90 days and then give it another month per year you've dealt with your issue. And most people have been dealing with those issues for a long time. So if you really, really, really think about it, it will be you know, for most people, a solid six months of being consistent. And we all have to, you know, most of our people are not consistent for that long. They have, you know, things happen in the summer, holidays, all those things. Those months don't count when you're not consistent and you're not taking your products. If they're sitting on your kitchen counter, they don't work. I can't tell, like, I don't know what to do. I tell people that all the time, but your kitchen counter is not going to get skinny. Like you have to take your products and you have to eat real food. It's not going to help you. So I, I've been learning to be more blunt and some people like it and some people don't, but it's really the truth. And I tell people that straight out, honestly, there is not a quick fix. I would love to tell you, take my magic pill and be better. And, you know, but with that, like I had, I had a huge, something really crazy happen. Um, and it actually happened on my Facebook feed, which I don't usually argue on my Facebook feed, but, but somebody I know is a doctor a rheumatologist and he went after one of my posts and another one of my friends is a midwife and actually he went after midwives and she went after him and they went at it but the thing is as I'm reading it and and reading with it everybody was smart and everybody was educated but everyone just had different approaches to getting to the final result and that is okay and that's what I always tell people. If you need to use medication to get from point A to point B so that you are, you know, healthy and you can get through your life, then let's do that. But let's work on getting healthy so that you can, you know, let that go. So there is no wrong and there is no right. And, you know, there is no, you know, just as much as a, a midwife to a rheumatologist to like a health coach, like we all have a place and we can all work together. And so that's the same, like with people, I, I want to get off my medications or they stop their medications. You guys, please don't ever tell anybody to stop a medication. Always only have their doctor to that. Okay. There's a couple other things I get asked a lot about medication all the time. Do not ever give anybody medication advice. You are then liable. Remember that. Tell them to print out the label and take it to their pharmacist. Their pharmacist is trained in drug interactions. That's their job. Push, push it onto them and let the person decide if they're going to take their products. You are not responsible, okay? You educate and then give the information and pass it off, all right? It's very, very, very important. So I think I got all those questions on this one and then... Um, product doses for adrenal fatigue. You guys, adrenal fatigue is really, really, really going to be the triplex to start with X Factor Plus. Here's the thing you can do to help. If your adrenals are really, really, really bad, take X Factor Plus and old X Factor. And this is what I still do. I still take this now. And this is because there's something, um, it's getting more and more, um, more and more, um, I don't know what the right word is. Um, not mainstream, but there's more and more information coming out about postpartum nutrient deficiencies. 
and how that leads to um, postpartum depression and all kinds of other things that happen after you have babies. And um, part of that is comes with adrenal fatigue. To prevent that, you can take X Factor Plus, but you cannot take extra X Factor Plus. I don't ever re recommend taking extra X Factor Plus because it's going to be too many minerals. It's going to be too much vitamin A. Okay, so don't take extra X Factor Plus, but take old X Factor. That's because the old X Factor is a really, really, really good absorbable B complex vitamin, and it still has that D in there. And with the D, with the with the aloe in there, and with um, the black currant, and black currant is a really good source of GLA fat, and that GLA fat is going to help that D be absorbed. So. Um, so you can take, I, I would take two X Factor, old X Factor, and you can take two, uh, two of the X Factor Plus to get more for that adrenal support. There are people I've heard, like cancer patients, chemo pe people, like rehabilitating that, they will actually take even more of the old X Factor on top of, and I've heard them taking it three times a day, okay? Just don't take that X Factor Plus more than one time a day. Only take that those two one time. Okay. But the old X factor can be taken up to, you know, two to three times a day. If you really, really need that extra support. Um, and really it's because it's just a very, very good B, very, very good B complex. All right. Um, and let's see. Be very, very careful. And I know I sent the video, um, to Jennifer about thyroid. Be very careful, you are not taking your thyroid meds too close to your slim, okay? Chromium has a very similar effect on thyroid meds that, um, um, chromium has a very similar effect on thyroid meds that um, iron and a, a couple other, you know, um, uh, supplements do, and we don't want that. The other thing with thyroid, a lot of people don't know, and I remind people all the time of this, if you are on any type of synthetic thyroid meds, do not drink coffee in an hour of your thyroid meds because coffee will actually negate the effectiveness of your thyroid meds. And a lot of people don't know that. So really make sure that thyroid meds are spaced at least an hour from coffee and four hours from your slim. If people are having a really hard time with their, their thyroid schedule, I do have a thyroid video, but I try to tell them if they can, if they get up to pee in the middle of the night, which most of us drink so much water, we do, take your thyroid meds when you get up to go to the bathroom, okay? Because then you can just drink your slim in the morning and take your, otherwise you're ending up taking your slim at lunch and you're offsetting everything over because you can't take BioCleanse either because of the magnesium. So you have to wait and everything gets pushed back, okay? Um, really also be careful with thyroid meds. <coughs> so if you take synthetic thyroid meds, you need to be careful about extra iodine, which would be in block. If you don't take thyroid meds, extra iodine is actually helpful for the thyroid. So if you have mess off thyroid levels and you want to help that, then block can help. But if you're on synthetic thyroid, then be, be careful with block, okay? The other thing though to really remember with X Factor Plus, um, and this is also in the ease because of the um, green lipid muscle, the selenium in them, okay? Selenium is super, super great for converting T4 hormones to T3 hormones. So people with um, Hashimoto's, um, hypothyroid, it's really, really, they have an issue with that. And selenium is a really big help for that. And so both of those products can really, really, really be helpful for that. But again, just be careful. Again, if you have an iodine issue or sensitivity. Now, I actually have never had anybody with an iodine issue have an issue with ease. I have had them had issue with block, but not with ease. I know there's somebody that feels sensitive, but again, if something's sensitive to you guys, then you're sensitive to it. Like, you know, you can't help it. That's just you. So, um, increasing role for their thyroid meds only an hour. And their thyroid meds that have one hour spacing rules. Okay. So, so it's going to probably be, they probably were recommended by their pharmacist to only space it one hour. I have, do I have it sitting here? No, it's in there. I have this little fancy book that breaks down all drug interactions with supplements and it does say four hours for chromium away from thyroid meds. Um, what is, what, you don't want to mess up meds. 
Okay, so we always want to err on the side of safety, and by spacing that, you're not going to have that problem. If it's too close, it can negate it, and people, what I often hear is not necessarily they don't feel their medicine working, but what they feel is the afternoon crash really bad. That is a sign their medicine's not working, okay? Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Um, if people are fine and they feel great, that's fine, but if you're going to be taking meds, you want them to be working. Just like if we're going to be supplements, we want them to be working. And what is best is to set ourselves up for success and to just space things out the best that we can, okay? Mm -hmm. Same thing if you have to take antibiotics, do not take them the same time as your meds, okay, um, as your supplements. Just space them. At least, at least 30 minutes, I try to go an hour. Sometimes it can't happen. I know there's some people on our team that have a lot of meds. We just do the best we can. But just antibiotics, just really try to space them, you know, at least an hour. You want everything to do its job. Does that make sense? Um, let's see. Now, I think that's what I have. I, did I miss any questions? I just lost my paper. Oh, here, here it is with questions. Um, oh, somebody asked about ProBio5 dairy and soy. ProBio5 does not have dairy and soy. That's Vital Biome. I think maybe that was a confusion in the question. I'm not sure. ProBio5 has yeast on the label. That yeast is from S. Velarde. S. Velarde is the good yeast that actually is the antifungal in ProBio5 that kills the bad yeast. That is actually very, very different. And you can actually Google S. Velarde and you can get way in depth of what it does. If people have a yeast allergy, they're not gonna be allergic to S. Velarde. This is different, okay? That is actually what goes after the bad. Um, and then, um, but probio, but vital biome on the label does have dairy, um, does have dairy, soy, and yeast. That is because how the bacteria is grown. And if you need way more information on that, I have a video on it, but also in your back office under shareables on the information sheet for vital biome, it says the specific bac bacteria and exactly how it's grown and what it's grown on. When that happens, the chances of that, that um, bacteria actually having the dairy in it, it's like slim to none, but they do want to, if people have, you know, a, <clears throat> a severe allergy, it, it is something that, you know, people want to know. So, um, so that's why it's there. And if you want if people ever question that, I always just share the information sheet in the back office because it's an easy shareable. Um, okay, so that's on, was the last one on my list. Do you guys have any other things you want to want to ask? Um, that was so awesome. Thank you, Tara. Uh, the one thing that I think comes up off and on is about this business of hearing from doctors, hearing from health, other health professionals that you shouldn't stay on one particular probiotic for long periods of time. Can you address that or do you have any information? Because, you know, I'm a four plus year user of the products. I do think, and maybe you can address this in general, of over a long period of time, again, you, you said with different, depending on what you're going on hormone wise, if you've had a baby, if you've not had a baby, um, I'm now in my early forties. So some of that is that perimenopausal stuff going on to adjust our products. Can you address that just in general form? So I do think over time, we do want to make adjustments to our products. That's like anything like, so I've been on the products for two years in that time. I took accelerator for a while, stopped block for a while, stopped. Maybe um, I added, I started taking ProBio5, I, I started taking some in the morning, changed that. Um, you can start to adapt your products to see how you feel over time. Most people are not going to want, now, now when we got Vital Biome, I, after talking to I'm a darling, we're like, okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to reduce my ProBio5 to two, because she told me ultimately you should be able to, two, and do the one vital biome in the morning. I did not feel good. I just didn't. My husband, same thing. He didn't feel good and her psoriasis came back on his face. We were like, you know what? No, we're gonna stay back on that four. This is where we feel good. This is how we feel good. I did eliminate the probio five I was taking in the morning. I didn't need that anymore when I added in the vital biome. And then my body just adjusted. I went to going, cause when I started that vital biome, I was going to the bathroom a lot. And I was like, oh my goodness. So. 
but it just all leveled back out. And that's how I feel really good. Now, if your body, you know, I hear people like all the time, oh, I was on this birth control for like four years and then I just suddenly didn't feel good anymore. Okay, well, your body adjusted and you needed to maybe make a change. It's going to be the same if you're on your products and suddenly something's not right. Well, your body probably changed. You probably had a hormone change or something else happened or you were exposed to something. Um, you know, we go through different changes in our life just naturally, hormonally. So it, you may need to make an adjustment. That's okay. Things you can do. Adjust probio five to take it with a meal so you're going to get more of the enzymes. Maybe you need to reduce. I really don't, I would never be a fan of not taking it because our body starts producing toxins and yeast overgrowth very, very quickly. I don't care how great you eat just from just exposure to environmental toxins. You're, you're going to start having reaction, you know, growth. Um, but again, you, you really have to listen to your body. And that's what I tell people. The, the biggest gift we have is our body. So don't ignore it and don't go by some, don't go by what a doctor tells you, don't go by what your friend tells you, don't go by what a health coach tells you, don't go by what anybody tells you, except how you're really feeling. And I always tell people, do your research, like really understand. Now, I know everybody's not a green personality and they're not gonna like dive in and like pull all this stuff out and be like, ah, they just want somebody to tell them what to do. But if you know at least why, why you're doing it, then you have a reason, right? So at least know why. And that's the thing. You don't have to be super science-based and you don't have to know all this stuff, but if you at least can communicate why somebody wants to do this, why do they want to take ProBio5? Because you need to get rid of that yuck, guys. If you don't get rid of the yuck, no matter what you do, that yuck is still in there, you're not going to feel better. you got to get the yuck out. It can be that simple. Right. But it really, I mean, you got to think about it. Do you go and garden before you pull your weeds. No, because the weeds are just gonna take over your beautiful flowers. Keep it simple. So, you know, whatever really works for you to communicate, but you do want people to understand why they're, why they're taking it. Just say, oh, this girl gave me this pink drink and this is what I take and this is what I take, but I don't know why, and now I'm pooping all the time and I don't know why. Why am I going to the bathroom all the time? Like with BioCleanse, why am I going to the bathroom all the time when they start? BioCleanse is alkalizing the body, okay? You have an acidic environment and that acidic environment has to get out. The body is, the, the, the bio cleanse is oxygenating you and alkalining you and alkalining that gut. And so it's going to come out and that acidic stuff is coming out. And so that's good. We want it out. Get it out. And I always tell people that, get it out. <laughs> it's way better getting out of you than sitting inside of you and making you feel yucky. Okay. So I'm sorry, you have to run to the bathroom, but it could be worse. You could be sitting there with an upset stomach or feel bloated or feel how you felt before. Right. Right. Um, so, um, but that's, you know, it's, it's really important to think the thing about bio cleanse that people really don't understand is, is, literally how it works in the body. It really helps produce collagen. It really helps the brain function. It really helps the muscles function. It's just not going to just make you poop guys. It, there's so much to it. it helps oxidate. When you have more oxygen moving through the body, guys, if you don't have oxygen, we die within minutes. Okay. If, if cells have oxygen, disease cannot exist. So it's really, really, really important that we provide that body oxygen. We provide ourselves oxygen so they don't become sticky and sticking together because in that sticky, inflammated, inflammated state, that's where disease exists, and that's not good, okay? We want that oxygen moving. We want blood flowing. We want to – why people look younger. Like, I know we think, oh, people – it really does. <laughs> I, I'm sure we've all seen it. <laughs> it really does. Awesome. Okay. And I, there was one little question here about ease and nerve with children. Have you had any experience with that? We will use that as our last question to wrap up. Okay. So ease, um, yes. With, um, so ease, yes, with children can be used with children. In fact, we did use it with my son to help um, some of the inflammation in his brain. Um, our, I have a really good um, integrated medical doctor and also a really good chiropractor. You guys, if you ever find a chiropractor that does N-A-E-T, nutritional allergy elimination technique, go see them. They're really wonderful and they can really, really help if you're having like just 
you, you feel you eat certain foods and you feel triggered or you feel um, you may not be having a bad reaction, but you just don't feel yourself. They can really, really help. And so um, we have, we're lucky to have that support. And so we were using half a capsule of ease to help balance some of the inflammation in his brain. Um, that um, can definitely be used in kids, if, depending on the age and depending on the weight. So again, everything kind of goes on age and weight. As they get bigger and they become more adult size, it's going to become more adult-like. The one thing I wouldn't do for kids is X Factor Plus without checking with their pediatrician first because it could be too much. Um, the old X Factor, yes, but the new X Factor. Now, I do have some friends that have their kids that are teenagers, and they swear the X Factor Plus is helping with their hormones huge, but again, their pediatrician has looked at it and made sure it's the right dose. So really, pediatricians are pretty good when it comes to that because they want kids on that, vi you know, vi vitamins. But um, so, so that's the one thing. But other thing um, that kids can't also take and is really good if they can swallow a capsule. Mega X is really, really, really fantastic for their brain. Really, really fantastic. Now, my son is too young for to take. He won't swallow the capsule for Mega X. He takes a liquid Omega right now, but that is huge for ADHD. It is huge for focus. It is huge for brain issues. So, um, but Mega X is also one that is really, really fantastic for kids. Um, nerve is one. The only time I've had it used for a kid is the the child has severe, severe neuropathy issues, like really, really bad. So it was a very special condition. Nerve um, is uh, has a lot of B vitamins in it, and um, <coughs> it also has butcher's broom and horse chestnut, which is really good for circulation and hemorrhoids and varicose veins, but there's not a whole lot of information or studies when it comes to kids. So there's just not a lot there to know. Um, so you, I would always check with their pediatrician. Yeah. Um, the other thing to keep in mind um, uh, is there's a lot of studies on green muscle, lip, green lipid muscle, and animals and dogs. So if you have an animal that has a lot of inflammation, there's a lot of studies on animals. So that is um, Ease and Probiotic 5 are two of our products that I, for dogs and cats that can be really beneficial for your animals too. My dog takes Probio 5 and has we, been- We have a lot of people on our team who use both Probio 5 and Ease for their animals. Yeah. Okay. So there, and there's studies behind them. So That's great. Um, not our products, but the ingredients in the products. Sure. Um, so I think that, yeah, I mean, I think we could shoot questions at you probably all night. Um, Tara, we <laughs> appreciate it. Y'all follow her if you, um, and like, and like she said, which says so she's so graciously offered, if there's something that comes up that's specific, shoot me a message and then I'll reach out to her and maybe we can group them together a couple at a time. Um, but again, what I think, what I love about you sharing tonight too, is seeing that we can take something that we find for ourselves that we become passionate about, turn it into this amazing opportunity to bless people and to realize that you're building a team. Tara is a senior gold ambassador. She will, uh, no doubt, based on what I see her doing, be with I us. I Ruby now. this month. But Yay, that's awesome. Um, I want to say something really quick because this was brought to my attention and this is something, and you may have some greens on your team, I don't know, but if you are constantly going after sick people, you're going to create a sick team. Mm. You're not going to have people out there sharing, growing your business. So make sure, and I did this because that's what I do. I'm all about helping people, going after the products, going after how we can help this problem or this problem. I got so many quotes, sick, I'm not real sick, but you know, quote, sure. sick people with issues, you know, serious ones. And they're not going to be, they're dealing with their issues. Okay. They're not going to be dealing with the business. So you know, that will slow you down. So make sure you're getting a good balance. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very good point. Um, thank you again. Absolutely. And thank you guys so much. And anybody that would like to do, has a problem solving issue or we need to go through, just let Jennifer know. And I'm happy to message with you. I'm happy to like do a problem solving um, a message with you and see if we can fix what's going on. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, best of luck to you with everything. We'll see you hopefully very, very soon. I can't wait to meet you in person.
Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. it. This will be recorded and on the team page soon, and then I'll send it over to you, Tara, as well. Thank you. Good night, Bye. you guys. Bye.